Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with some more Rise of Mordor action for you today. As you can see we have Mordor <laughs> clashing with Gondor right here right now on the streets of Tarnost, a new city that uh, we are like that we now have for Rise of Mordor, an awesome like siege battle going on here, it looks really really cool. And uh, yeah we have uh, Mordor uh, and the Eastlings fighting off against Rohan and Gondor, obviously going to see a lot of Rohan recently. Uh, it'd be nice to see them now in a siege battle. We've seen them in quite a few like, land battles. It'd be nice to see them in a siege battle. See how they're going to react in that, really. Um, something will be very, very interesting. As you can see over here, uh, we've got uh, like the... I don't know if the Uruks have like, been redone. I was like looking at them earlier, and I'm pretty sure I didn't realize. But I think they've been redone. Um, they certainly look... Yeah, these guys have definitely been redone, and they look awesome. I really like that the officer as well, or like the flag bearer, is like... Um, Kind of like I don't know. He's, he kind of looks like a like the uh, like the cultist guy that's like uh, in like Return of the King. He like bites off, the like, bites in people's necks. Um, it looks really really cool. Uh, honestly, I'm like the detail they got into this is, looks awesome. I didn't realize they'd redone like Mordor until like, I was, was watching uh, like watching the beginning of this replay. But this is an awesome two v two siege battle for you today that we have, and it comes down to the wires. You can see it's pretty close in uh, numbers actually in fairness the uh, like the good forces the defenders actually have more men which is kind of hilarious um, but I do believe I'm sure that uh, Mordor and the Eastlings have got some stuff up their sleeves and also I mean this is like a siege battle this means infantry it means that the uh, like Rohan doesn't necessarily have the uh, the capabilities of like stopping better infantry so we just to see how he does Loki or Imkum flying on in here deal with these Ringlow Veil men at arms. So see how they can do. Yes, if you're enjoying seeing Rise Mordor on the channel and would like to see some more siege action, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe from around here, and a comment to show your support. I do apologize, it has been a lot of Rise Mordor recently. Um, it's really what I like could easily uh, like upload while I've been away, or while I am away. Um, as when I'm like taught, uh, when this is being uploaded, I'll probably still be away uh, on holiday. So, uh, yeah, it's the easiest that I've been able to find. NCW3, often most of the land battles and stuff like that are really, really long. The same with Rome 2, most of my Rome 2 replays are really, really long. And I do want to obviously cover them, but uh, like to get as many videos out in such a small amount of time, I have to I have to do a lot more shorter stuff, a lot more like land battles. I've got a few, like, and then a couple of short sieges. And this is uh, probably one of the shorter of the, of the few. Lokirim here going in. The one's going to have to go up this slope here to deal with the Gondor infantry here. One's going to have to go over here, which, because Gondor's done it really well. Is he going to do that? Yeah, surely this Lokirim's going to go up this hill. I mean, even still, though, like, this uh, Gondor archer here is positioned really nicely. He's going to be able to focus down and hit anything that engages that unit, unit there. So, I mean, really, this is a kind of a tough spot, really, to assault. But, yeah, Tarnus will quickly have a look at it. While uh, the lines clash, the Ring of Vale are losing, by the way, uh, to uh, Wards of Rune already being sent in. But yeah, Tarnos looks a really, really cool map. We've got like an outer wall which goes all the way around. Uh, the, the attackers spawn on like this side and the other side. Um, so like that, I mean, they can get to each other, but like you can't spawn just right here, basically. Um, so yeah, you got like the outer wall, and then you've got like the um, sort of like, the inner wall, um, it, like which is the keep where most of Rohan is, and uh, yeah, there's like a few little, like, other places you can defend and fight for as well outside. I really like it, I really like Tarnos, it's like a really cool little uh, Gondorian city that's going on. And uh, yeah, I think you can go like most way, well not the whole way around, but yeah, you can go a fair amount of way around here. You can see all the way up here, and you can see this cavalry here actually, because so as the eye, I didn't realize these guys have snuck around here. How do they get here then? Oh, they have to go all the way around here. I see. So they have to go all the way around here. So there actually is a way. I was going to say, is there a way out? Like a way for the defense to sally out? And there is. There's a sneaky little way there. And Mordor's actually gone the opposite way. And he's coming in. And uh, as you can see, there is actually troops ready. We've got um, some Erling men at arms ready. Told you, these guys, you're going to see a lot of these guys in battles, I imagine. They're cheap and also uh, they're pretty decent in like defense. Uh, Rohan is putting up most of the defense by the looks of it. We've also got a lot of guards 
of the golden hall here. We've got one, two, three over here. This is that's all of them, then. All of them that you'll have. More men at arms here, like I said. You'll see plenty of these guys look really, really cool. If you haven't checked out the Rise of Mordor uh, Rohan unit overview that I did, I recommend you do. Um, gives you a good idea of like all the units that are in uh, Rohan's rosters. But it's literally got most of them here today, or most of the infantry ones. Not a single carryman in sight. Ringlow Vale fighting down here with the Sword Thanes. Oh god, poor guys getting their heads chopped off left, right, and center. Artillery going flying in. Who's firing the artillery? Rohan's got an artillery piece. He has got his uh, King Thaed in here, obviously. Is he? Yeah, and he's mounted. So, okay, so they've got one bit of a uh, carry, I guess. But they've got also a lot of Fountain Guard generals as well. So, yeah, these things get really stuck into the fight here right now. Archers coming in. Who's fleeing anyway for the Eastlings? Who's breaking? Uh, old troops over here. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they did actually go in. I think, like, yeah, these Lokirim got, uh, like, beaten back. And now Gondol's able to surround the Eastlings over here. And there's Halberds, which are doing a really good job in the front lines. And they still are, actually. Uh, these Lokirim Macemen. I mean, that's a fail move, I think, by Gondor. Because, yeah, now, look, these Wards of Rune can just counter charge and counter flank that. And then they can go up and get these archers after. Yeah, the halberds are here, wrecking Gondor. There you go, Gondor sending some more reinforcements. This probably wasn't the best idea. Because, I mean, it's a losing battle currently. I mean, they may win this one. Oh, that poor Gond uh, that poor Eastling there just getting flipped over. Gondor is... Uh, yeah, why didn't... I mean, I see why he's going for this. But Wars are really losing this fight. Really, they should have dealt with Gondor first. They should have come up just dealt with... Uh, oh, should have dealt with this Gondorian infantry. Yeah, they're going to just shoot them in the back. But if those Wars of Rune went in, they probably would have like easily just cleaned them up. I mean, this Gondorian archer... Oh, this uh, Blackroot Vale archer is uh, nearly out of ammo. It's getting a, oh, it's, yeah, there you go. Wars Rune now turning around just as soon as those guys run out of ammo. You can see uh, 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 Rohan sitting over a lot of infantry, as is Gondor now. They really want to hold onto the spot. They want to get those archers out, I think. Not a bad idea, to be fair. Well, how's Mordor faring over on this side? Mordor seems to be doing okay. Mordor's got his archers here set up, and he's firing into this flank here. Again, it seems to be like, uh, like Gondor's decided to flank around. A points to uh, try and sneak a like surround a Mordor. I really love the new new models. They look awesome. They really do. It's what Mordor needed. Mordor's needed it for a long time. Hi right, there, Uruk especially. I mean, they look so much brighter now. I don't know if the rest of the units had like redone redos, but I don't believe so. Let's have a quick look. Did they bring anything else? I know that the guards of the teeth wouldn't have had a redo. I wouldn't have had a redo because they already look pretty good. It's like the orc warriors are a throng. I don't think they brought any sort of like orc warriors, so uh, we'll have to find out another day. But you can see, yeah, look at this Mordor now with the help of the Eastlings, like shock infantry. So I'm gonna really quickly route this uh, Gondorian force to try to surround the Uruks. Not really worth surrounding Uruks because you're gonna beat them in a head-on anyway. And yeah, the Varag Warriors in here just cutting down Ringlow Vale men at arms mercilessly. Over on this side, can the men of the West, the men of the West have got a hold. They've got a hold. I hope you guys are enjoying, and I hope you guys will got some snacks and some drinks ready for this epic siege. It really is awesome. I love the green and like the green and the silver, like oh. the green like mixed with the silver of Gondor is what I was gonna say. It's awesome. As the fire also goes off, killing people. Who's firing? Oh, artillery is flying in. Who is firing that? That is Mordor. Mordor's firing artillery. It's going in everywhere. Um, really, really good hits. And as you can see over here, now we've got the fights in the street. You can see that the uh, wars are in. I mean, this is actually probably. They're not going to win, obviously, but it's not a bad idea sending these guys in because they're holding back so many guys now. 
Why they're using fire is I don't know. But yeah, there's whole so many guys allowing these things over here to just beat back Gondor with their pole arms. They're doing such a good job right now. These pole arms are probably racking up kills still. But they're still in the same spot that we left them and they're still stabbing people. Now they're actually sending a low curium, so they kind of are evening it out over here. Rohan not having shock infantry is certainly going to struggle against fighting against shock infantry. Also not being able to deal with pole arms as well. I don't know why they, they're still sending stuff out. They have like fountain guard and stuff that they also can rely on. Mordor is now in to like this uh, like sort of like V formation that Rohan's formed up here. And he's going into the more elite stuff now. Looking for more men at arms. They have still got their stuff at the back. Good. Why are these uh, archers getting so close forward? Like, mustard bows, get back, get back, mustard bows, you fools! This is no place for you. Get out of here. Sitting in the, uh... Guards the uh, Golden Hall now, which is good to see. I mean, I don't think they need to be sent in. The archery's been really close as well. They're just trying to, like, hit some, like, point blank shots or just going for blobs back here. I do not know. Really, this is where I think the artillery needs to be. It's where the main concern is. Main concern here. Sword Thanes fighting on in amongst the uh, Eastmen of Rune. The wards are ruined doing their bit. Yeah, here come the Halberds to keep pushing forward. They've got Urux over as well. Lots of archers defeat. left as well they with full ammo. Rally. The guards of Thieves have yet to commit themselves as well. They actually are moving forward now. There's a general over here. There's a uh, Bane and Step general all the way over here. What's he got here? I mean, still, oh, they are not breaking through there anytime soon. But they couldn't rear charge and just free up these guys if they want to. But they are not breaking through over here. I just realized Gondor is just stacked up ready with, like, lots of stuff here. We've got, like, elite pikes, elite spears. They are not breaking through anytime soon. Gondor is, uh, yeah, prepped and ready. The general here has been, like, getting hit quite hard. 95 out of 110. Pretty bloodied up as well. Yeah. The orcs down here are slowly getting surrounded, as you can see. They might as well just send up more troops or just start firing here. These uruk archers just start shooting in the back of these uh, guard of the golden hall. And I think they've been given the order. Yeah, there they go. They're now firing. Just as I say, they're going to start shooting into the backs of those uh, those elite Rohirrim spears. So that is a uh, bit of a loss that they probably need to sort out. They're like, I mean, it's not a loss yet, but um, like that's something that like eventually Rohan's going to start to feel. He's going to feel that pain. Doing a decent job over there. Rohan's holding pretty well, and over here they are giving up. You see lots of axe stains falling back. We've got sword stains falling back. They just wanted to get stuff out here. Locurium not giving them the chance though. Smart idea. And like I said, Rohan's gonna have to just deal with the superior infantry. But they are running low, I'd say. They're running relatively low. Certainly like the Eastlings are running low on mainline infantry. Don't really how much they got left. It seems to all get like tied down over here in this street. Which it still is. Yeah, they don't need to worry about this now. Just surround these uh, poor Gondorians that got left behind. And then they died. There you go. That's most of the Eastling infantry that left. I mean, it's, all the rest of it's just stood over here looking at a Citadel Guard. Now, I think it's just, yeah, it's just a bit of a waiting game. Do you just either shoot these guys, so you get like some archers up, start shooting them, or do you just wait until uh, you break through somewhere else, hopefully? Uh, I don't know. It's a close one. I mean, right now, you can see the orcs, like, piling in infantry. Rohan might have a pretty decent chance against the orcs. It might, might match up quite well, because they rely on numbers. Rohan kind of relies on numbers.
I'm sure that these uh, guards are probably enjoying it, these kills. Men at arms are holding pretty well as well. Any movement at the back? No. I mean, there's plenty of stakes and stuff in the way. They don't even need to defend it. There's one 7 CI here cannot break through there. Like, they're going to have to rely on, like, another, in like, an infantry unit to come up. Like, break all the, uh, like, equipment. It's going to take just forever. I mean, these men at arms just can just leave. They could happily know that the uh, 7 CI are not getting through there. Unless they dismount. Unless they dismount. Pike's on the front line. This is the general, by the way, I'm pretty sure, for Gondol. Like, already in the front line. I'm going to do these uh, halberdiers, and he probably will because he's got the range. Look at the mass of infantry back there. Look at all of those men. Rohan and Gondor allying together like good old times. It's awesome. But yeah, I mean, this is just going to be a uh, just a wait, really. So what's Theodemon doing? Where is he even going? Oh, all the artillery got killed for uh, Rohan. That's huge. I didn't even realize this. I think they burn it. Yeah. That was just a really bad idea then by Rohan. He just got his ass through far too close to these Uruk archers to burn it. Yeah, Theoden's just running around like a bit of a headless chicken, I think. Just like, what do I do? I'm just kind of stuck in here, just doing nothing. Could go out this way. Could sneak out over here. Yeah, why? Oh, yeah. There's literally another choke, like, pass in here. Why has, like, the Eastlings not thought, let's just go out, let's just go around. And they can get in, they can sneak in. Sneak in some troops, maybe a general. Definitely worth an idea. Um, certainly, like, the sense the eye on this side, I would, like, pull back. I'd be like, guys, it's just a, there's another way in. <laughs> there is another gateway. Don't know if they've not realized that. Don't know if they realized they found the other one. Surely they would have thought, let's have a look and see this one on the other side. Apparently not. Don't look, the units look awesome. They really do. Look really, really nice. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, kind of just waiting on. Uh, I guess they're kind of just waiting on Mordor to break through a little bit more. Mordor is really struggling though against these really elite Rohirrim. Poor Uruk Throng. They've had a redo. They look nice now. And you're murdering them just mercilessly, Rohan. This is not fair. They've not actually lost many men at arms as well. They've not lost many of anything. Any of the spears here. Oh, I don't know. This guard of uh, the Golden Hall here is starting to lose. Yeah, I'm going to send, I'm gonna have to send up some halberds or something. I'm surprised Mordor didn't bring shock infantry. Like, just even orc pillages. They're not great, but, like, you know, they're summoned. Some to break through these uh, spears. Especially when you're facing Rohan. Like, Rohan's not got shock infantry. They've got axe infantry, which is just infantry with axes, really. Nothing really special. Um, so, yeah, they definitely could have done with bringing some shock infantry, I think. Like, even Gondol, I mean, he's got, Gondol's not got great shock infantry. So, like, it's a perfect, like, du duo to bring shock infantry up against. Because it's unlikely that the uh, your opponents are going to bring any. I certainly can't, any, certainly can't bring any as Rohan. Yeah, it's kind of just like a bit of a, uh, a stalemate a little bit, just apart from over here. Still haven't get, been able to see the uh, guardians of the, oh no, the garrison of the Hornburg get in action. Bit of a shame. Halberds are up though, yeah, because he guards the teeth now here. Doing their bit with their wicked. Look at those blades and those things. They look nasty. We don't want to be on the end of that. I hope you guys are enjoying the siege. If you are, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment to show your support. As always, guys, thank you for all the support. I know you guys love a bit of Rise More, a little bit of uh, Lord of the Rings action.
elite spears though as time goes on they're going to get more and more tired and I mean they can send in more and more orcs I mean I say that they haven't got many more orcs to send in uh, they've got a few more Loki room as well over here so I mean you've got some more stuff where are these guys guards of the teeth it looks like they're going to just yeah use the artillery just, I think they're going to try and just shell this general oh my gosh look at the blob yeah do not blob like this especially when the artillery is around do not blob like this you're going to hit the general as well Right in the middle, hit this general. I'd, I'd manual fire. If you manual fire, you cannot miss. You get a really good hit as well. So yeah, they're focusing down this Loki Amazement. You should be focusing down that halberd. That halberd's what needs killing. Um, Yeah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Are they just going forward? Yeah, it's because the pikes fall, fell back. Yeah, they get in. They get in before the pikes get down. Pikes are down now, though. If they could have closed the gap, the halberd is, they might have been okay, but I don't think they will be now. Yep, yeah, they're falling back, I think. The pikes are coming in, and they're now falling back. Oh, no, maybe that. I think the low crew might be breaking, actually. Oh, no. No, it, it, it just about stud. But yeah, now these uh, spear infantry are feeling the wrath of the halberds. Over on this side, yeah. Is this still? No, that was the Mordor artillery just hitting there. They need to keep hitting these goddamn uh, Fallon Guard. They need to kill them quicker. They're also getting shot on the back by, uh, I want to say Mustard Archers, but I'm not quite sure. It is, yeah. The, all these Mustard Archers back here, I'm pretty sure they can't shoot to save their lives and are shooting their backs to their own, like, allies. Well, I never thought Rohan and uh, Mordor would ever come to that, but they, uh, Rohan and uh, Gondor, sorry, come to that, but they did. Oh, yeah, okay. Three out of the four were just amazing hits on these Fountain Guard, then the fourth one just hits some of their own Halberds. They should, yeah, just fall back and just shell in peace. Halberds here, though, they can, yeah, are just going to clean through these uh, men at arms. Yeah, just not able to deal with the Halberds. And they're heavily armored as well. Need these on the other side to face the Fountain Guard. Well, the Fountain Guard are going to be needed over here soon. And Rohan eventually gets broken through. His halberds will eventually give in time. They'll just poke away. Kill these spears. I don't know how he just murdered that guy there. Like, <laughs> you could not do that with a halberd in real life. But he just did. So we won't question it. Because he's, he's a Numenorian. Got the axe stains in here, axe and sword stains. I think, yeah, we've got a mix of both. You can tell when it's always the axe stains because they've got that sort of like yellowish cake going on. The sword stains don't have that. Lots of Rohirrim starting to die now. They break through in fairness, and it's not like a, it's not a problem. You, like Theoden could do his bit. It's also actually quite a few men. Where is the Bane of the Steps general going? He needs to sneak through here. This sums the eyes move forward. Oh, he's actually is going to commit as well. Why is he committing? Is he going to try and just like if he dismounts and moves forward, he could maybe destroy the traps. Bit by bit, he won't get this one though. But he could get this one. Quite easily, I think, unless he's oh he has also, or well, someone's tried it. Who tried it then? Whose cavalry unit's that? I'm not sure. I'm there's might be Bane of the Steps actually. I'm not sure. I think that might be Bane of the Steps. A general here getting focused on theater and he's getting focused down. No mercy now from the uh, from Mordor and from like. These things. If you're in range, you're getting folks down, general or not. Brutal. Yeah, they need to find a way to get around these uh, around these pole arms. Axe coming up, pretty fresh unit. Still not going in over here. Did they kill the halberds? Eh, they're killing them, but not quickly enough, you could say. 
And he's always saw the general as well as the guard of the teeth. Hmm. His guards of the teeth here aren't being killed quick enough. 104 out of 110 left. They're killing a lot of Rohirrim right now. They're like this is a good way to counter Rohan clearly. Just bring the guards of the teeth. Look at them, cutting them down like no man's business. The unit is running from the enemy. See, this is where it's all going on, really. There's nothing else going on anywhere else. There's a lot of people getting focused down. Uh, I mean, <laughs> look at this. Loki Remarch is being sent all the way around here to deal with their, uh, like, just keep shooting them. Oh, there are a few traps here. So they would have been, uh, they would have been, like, sort of stopped. But really, it's a barely, def barely defended. Fight, damn you. They're nearly through on this side, you can see. Wards the room. Trying to break through. Oh, that angle's just all horrible. Theoden doing his bit, still running around doing laps as you do. Yeah, I think they did. I think they did just like dismount there, destroy this lot. They honestly think they're still going to get through. They didn't completely destroy the cow drops, but most of them. And they got the stakes as well. How Rohan must be like bleeding. not paying attention. He's busy like moving Theoden to not pay attention to what these sons of the eye are doing. But they are still not going to charge through. Like that's sharp stones. They're going to slow you down, like do a lot of damage. But, I mean, they can stand there. I mean, eventually this men at arms is going to have to move because uh, Rohan's throwing in everything over on this side. And he's still getting nowhere. Like, Mordor is still cleaning house right now on him. I don't usually say that about Mordor as well. Mordor is cleaning house right now on Rohan. All I'm seeing is, like, Rohirrim getting cut, cut down at this point. Like, a lot of these units are tired. That's awesome, though. They can be, up, they can be tired. They still look awesome. Engaged over here? No, not quite yet. They, they're really wanting to go in, though. They're so close to, like, the front lines now. The pikes are still in here. Yeah, 42 of them left. Oh, so close, but not enough. Have you got any archer ammo left? I think this mortal archer does have ammo left. It has a fair amount as well. I'd move this archer all the way around and just try and focus this general down. Break him. Oh, they have got a rook bow here, actually. Okay. No need, then. I don't know where this Oak Bow is going. Maybe he's trying to shoot into the flanks of the uh, general. Yeah, it is. It actually is as well. Wow, they really want to kill these generals. If they didn't die, then I mean, Rowan's probably in a bit of trouble because most of his infantry is now in combat. And he's pretty tired. Keep looking over there, just making sure that Sons of the Eye is not doing anything funny. Where is... Uh, he's just still running around. Rohan's still battling down here. He's going in. See the charge of the Rohirrim going down into the flanks of the Orcs. It's, on a, it's a charge on foot, so it's not quite as majestic. And you're slipping, and they'd be all slipping over each other's dead comrades. Oh, 
Oh, someone's general's died. I was literally just like, oh, nothing will happen. This jet. Oh, you just got. F Did you just get focused down? Yeah, I think he's been focused down by that low Kira Marcher there. Yeah, and Theoden's got himself killed from being shot. So that is probably how, uh, like, yeah, Rohan's probably morale is probably going to start to give in that way. I mean, and it also looks like Baden Step's going to try and go through a gap that just isn't there. But get out of there. Get out of there, Baden Step. There's not a gap there. Go back. Yeah, that's right. There's no gap there. You're going to break through anyway. Just give it a little, little bit of time. A little bit of patience. Rohan's got no morale now. Or have little morale. And fire is winning. Yeah, that's another way. I mean, that's not a good thing to fire. Now, don't fire these Rohan yet. The enemy will fire them, but you should not fire them. This is going to do a lot of damage to morale. Just damage, as you can see there. Minus six morale is doing. Yeah, he's trying to shoot. Is he just trying to kill the general with fire arrows? No, just use normal arrows. You're going to do it. You're doing a lot of damage to your own troops here, morale wise. And you can see that Sword Thane's starting to waver. Mustard Bow's starting to waver. Mustard Arch is starting to waver. Not a good sign. Thane is broken as well. He's just run out of the head. He's dead and he's broken. What a terrible way to go, hey? And they've engaged on this side, finally. They're just going to. They're going to try and overwhelm these 42 Fountain Guard. Eastlings going back in. I haven't seen the Eastlings in action for like, what, 10 minutes? They've just been stood there looking at each other. Guards of the Golden Hall down here. Look at them fighting as a trio, looking awesome. And they run away. Oh, it's not a good sign. Yeah, look at this. I did think if they're running away, then there's over here, it must be looking terrible. I think it's because everyone's been firing fire arrows, like friend and foe. And that's just not helping, like, help, like, Rohan. Rohan is in a bad state because of that. And now, look, as you can see, this is what's going to happen. The men at arms are going to fall back. These guys can form square. Handy. I did not know that. That is very handy. Yeah, these, this unit is basically just, uh, like, auxiliary Palatina. I did not realize they can form square, but it doesn't matter anyway because there's a uh, cavalry in behind. It's the bane of the steps. They're going to do some damage, put it like that. And they are actually going to. They're going to. Why will you charge this? This is just sharp stones. You can get no charge, and then you're going to run into a spear unit. Just get out of there. Get out of there, Mordor. You're drunk. And then, yep. They're just going <laughs> to. Look at this. They're just going to form square, break, and now Mordor's all that's left. I don't Mordor. Why do I always call Mor Gondor Mordor for some reason at the moment? Maybe because they're evil at heart. Denethor is evil at heart. Vanguard doing their bit. Spiking away. You just see all the Rohirrim. Like the stream of Rohirrim behind. Just getting chased down. Just like, guys, we should probably just give up. And they're like, yeah, probably, but... Who wants to do that? Citadel Guard still holding their ground. Love to see that. They are, uh, the general's gone here, or is about to go for, uh, for Gondor. And then once he's gone, yep. I can't see these guys standing much longer. Yeah, they're wavering now. And that is going to be the battle. It seems like the men of the West could not hold back the Eastlings and Mordor. It was a close victory indeed. But they started off pretty well, did like the uh, defenders. They just it kind of all just went downhill at the last moment. Uh, unfortunately, but yeah, I certainly like fade and just needs to stay like back somewhere hide him and then just like Like they could have just put him like where the uh, men at arms were like just standing looking at the uh, uh, Servants of the eye because there was no archers near him there, but they kept moving kept moving him around just making him a moving target and uh, In the end actually that got was all, what got him killed um, But anyway, yeah, this one was sent in by ACG or Zwayze who often sends in a uh, uh, Rise Mordor replays. We've got uh, Bane of the Steps here with 198 kills. This general got very, very nice. I think most of them were at the end there, like milking kills. Uh, his uh, like low cure amazement. By the way, look at all these like new, like uh, most of them anyway are new 
like unit icons look awesome varag warriors still need some new ones but yeah they look awesome they really do but yeah loki and maceman getting 244 kills really nice there uh varag warriors getting 143 these actually survived longer than the wards of rune i'm kind of surprised which uh, got 267 kills though they did really well halberds both doing really well 124 319 kills oh my gosh i think this is the one that was fighting gondor did so well uh, 108, uh, 106 kills for Loki and March, 124, really, really good. Varric Bowman getting 150, uh, uh, 145, Jesus, I was struggling there with numbers. And then we got I Don't Know, who was playing as Mordor with the uh, new unit cards as well. I really like the Servants of the Eye, they've got a really nice one. Shame there's such an expensive unit, never got used. Um, yeah, his guards of teeth, his general getting 15 kills, his, uh, Throng, actually, Uruk Throng actually did okay, 129 for two of them here, 140. Uh, it's not too bad. 439 kills for his guards of the Oh my gosh. And look how healthy they are. Like, they were going to get so many more kills if it wasn't... Like, if they didn't, didn't die and break, like, the entire army, they would have got so many more kills. The archers, 91 kills. Not too bad. And the R3, 95. Not major kills there for Mordor, but did pretty well. Then we've got Conman here, who's playing as Rohan. Fortunately, yeah, he kept moving his general around. And he got zero kills in the end. We've got focused on his infantry. Inf I don't know... Rohan's going to be such a rough unit to use on a siege. Like, certainly, like, they're just not suited for it, really. They've got poor infantry. Uh, 93 kills for Axe Thanes. Uh, 57 for Sword Thanes. Uh, his, like, men at arms, they're getting 86. His, I mean, his uh, guard of the Golden Hall did pretty well. 127, 187. His archers, 109 and 75 for his honor. Just not too bad. And then we have Tommy Yar playing as uh, a Gondor. 70 kills with his Fountain Card General. His Ringler Veil only getting like 37, unfortunately. Uh, his Gondor Sword Infantry getting like 67. I, he kept wanting to flank with them, and I've just felt like he shouldn't have done that. He should have just like held his ground and then let more Orcs charge on him instead of just getting surrounded uh, like when they counter, like, counter flank you. And then Gondor Spear is here getting 114 kills. That's the best one. Uh, his Pikes here getting 121. His, found, his Silo Guard, unfortunately, never getting into action. Black Root Veil vale Archers getting 153 kills. Gondor Archers getting 111. There you go. Some pretty decent kills for Gondor, but nothing, like, amazing. Um, but there you go, guys. That is the Siege Battle today. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment to show your support. Go check out uh, the Discord as well. The link will be down in the description. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.